Hello everyone, Angela O'Hare here, your favorite Las Vegas realtor, and of course I have my her sidekick. Hi. And we are over here at a brand new community called Lark Hill by Taylor Morrison over in the new Kestrel Commons Village. This just opened up this past weekend, and of course it's a windy day today. They have three what they're calling single family attached homes, which I call townhomes. Um, and all of them will have a balcony off of it. Let's go inside and I'll talk more about it. So this is a unit one. It has three bedrooms, two and a half baths, and a two car garage. This is the smallest unit out of all of them and it will always be in the middle. I actually like the unit one layout, the bottom layout anyway. So as you walk in, what they did is they put the wood like tile flooring and then you have the nice dining room, which leads into the kitchen, and then a nice living room area. So again, I like this floor plan, the downstairs floor plan good, right? Mm -hmm. um, even though this is the middle unit, and no, it's not the middle unit, right? Yeah, this is the middle unit. Yeah, and it's also the smallest unit. It's very well laid out, in my opinion. So as you can see, they went with the white shaker cabinets, I love the white stack tiles that they selected. Doesn't look like they went with the soft clothes. And also they have the double basin sink and the previous one they had the single basin sink as well as not soft clothes either. No, they're not soft clothes. They're like a creamy, not a white, white. Mm -hmm. Now, we've learned something interesting recently. We're selling a lot of new construction, and we're going to the design studio. And we always thought that the luxury vinyl was always the best price-wise for flooring. But we're learning that something like this, this beautiful wood-like tile, is actually cheaper than luxury vinyl, which is kind of interesting. And a lot of people still like this look. Um, so that's something to consider. Now, when you buy new construction, um, this community has what's called six spec homes out, meaning all options have been already selected. And they also have a couple where only the structural options had selected and you can still pick your upgrades. So when you buy new construction, you're going to, you know, pick your lot or not your lot, your floor plan, your structural options, and then you go to the design studio and pick out these types of finishes, fit and finishes. And a lot of times people on the lower level will put hard surface flooring and on the second level, they'll do all carpeting um, for cost effectiveness, right? Um, if it were me, I would probably make sure that there was hard surface flooring throughout if I could afford it. If I couldn't afford it, then I would just make sure only the bedrooms had the carpeting and hard surfaces everywhere. But still, at the end of the day, this carpet's nice as on the second floor, right? We have the pantry separate right here. Now there's a total of 105 home sites and the monthly HOA, there's two of them. This is not a gated community. So you have Lark Hill HOA of 199 a month and then you have Summerlin West HOA of $60 a month of a total of 259. There are SIDS and the semi-annually SIDS is $222.33. Let's see if they have the garage open. Nope, okay. I mean, for 1,600 square feet, this feels great. Mm -hmm. Now here's a new option. There's two bedrooms up here. And one of the bedrooms comes standard with this slider, which I think is a cool feature. Like I said, all the homes have a balcony. But the other upgrade is the other bedroom would be an upgraded cost to add the slider. Otherwise it would just be a window. Great view. Yeah. This will have awesome city views. I don't know if you can see it from here. So this is the middle unit. The bedrooms are decent size. Looks like they went with the upgraded option and put the recessed lighting in all the bedrooms and a pre-wire for a ceiling fan. 
typically in the primary bedroom and the great room is pre-wired for a ceiling fan. If you want extras, that's going to be an extra cost. I like this walk-in closet. And like this little thing. This one doesn't have a loft. Here's the secondary bathroom. They went with the same tile flooring as downstairs. The same cabinets. And this is a quartz countertop, which I think is builder standard. As well as they went with the builder grade tub shower insert, which comes with the house. Um, sometimes, you know, I think it's okay going with this builder grade tub shower. Um, in the future, you can always change it out, but I don't know in the beginning if it's worth that extra cost from the builder. Okay. Nice linen closet. Laundry room. So this one doesn't have any of the cabinets, but if you would like cabinets, there is that option as well as I do believe you can add a sink. A lot of people like having the sink. Now, typically the washer and dryer is not included in the sale of a new construction home. If you wanted it, you'd have to pay extra for it as well as the refrigerator downstairs. Oh, the base price, which I forgot to go over, is $484,900. That's just the base price. That doesn't include the lot premiums or any of the structural upgrades or any upgrades at all. So it looks like they went with the generic builder grade tub or the shower insert, which has the nice little ledge right there and a seat. Um, so not bad. As well as the large double vanity with the quartz countertops and the white shaker cabinets. And they have the nice 12 by 24 tiles and the walk-in closet, which is decent size for this size of home. So to summarize, we're over here at Lark Hill in the Kestrel Commons Village, touring unit one. And this is at 1645 square feet with three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, and a two car garage. Base priced at $484,900. If you are thinking about buying a new construction home in this community or anywhere in Summerlin or Las Vegas, they can call me at... 702-370-5112. I am everyone's favorite Las Vegas realtor. <laughs> and if you have any questions about this floor plan, let us know in the comments. Let us know which one you like the best. But most importantly, make sure you show us some love and hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you on the next tour.